Hello everyone and welcome to our first edition of this year's Inside the Dugout. This year we are going to do the interviews with players, captains, sometimes maybe even fans. Uh, we'll see where it goes as, as we go. Today we have junior second baseman RJ Pingator. Uh, he's going to interview me and like I said later on in the year maybe I will we'll be able to interview him. So RJ I know you and many of our fans have questions uh, so let's get it started. Alright coach so with the fall season right around the corner, looking to start up next Wednesday, um, I guess my question for you is, what are you looking most forward to with this group of guys? I think with, with this group, I think we return a lot of talent, we return a lot of leadership. Uh, so we're just trying to have guys compete for, for playing time, compete for positions, and see how our team comes together this fall. Okay, um, second question. Um, with the new addition of the assistant coach, uh, how do you think that will be beneficial to our program? Yeah, our assistant coaches, we, we obviously return Robbie Heiser, uh, and he's been wonderful for us in, in both seasons. He's done great with our hitters. You've seen many of our batting averages rise in the last couple of years, and I know that he has good plans for, for our program to continue uh, our hitting ways. And now we'll have a pitching coach as well, Mark Upright. Uh, local guy going to be able to work with our pitchers a lot more, so I know our pitchers are excited. Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of the stress off of me and, instead of me uh, having to deal with the ins and outs of every day. I'm going to have assistant coaches to look to and, and talk with them about that. So I'm excited as, as we get going in the fall and even more so in the spring with, with everything. Okay. Um, another question I have for you is you mentioned leadership. And every college has this problem that you get newcomers every year and you try to mesh those guys with the returners. How do you think your leaders will make that happen? So you're exactly right. I think I think a lot of times it, it is an issue with the fall, and I think it's every college coach has that uh, plan of how do we mesh the, the freshmen, the incomers, the junior college transfers, and your returners. And uh, I think the big thing with that is you got to have a good culture and you got to have good leadership. And also with recruiting, we have to make sure that we're recruiting the right kids. So that's something that, that we place a lot of emphasis on. Uh, we did last year with the kids that we brought in. I, I think that we have a great group. Just around campus they seem like really good guys representing our program really really well and uh, also goes into our next year's recruiting class and and the fact that a lot of those recruits are coming to campus and, and same thing you know that's what we're looking for in our recruits is not so much can they play baseball obviously when we get them to campus we know they can play baseball it's more so if they can fit in with our guys and and uh, you know what they can do how they can represent our program I feel you um, a couple more okay uh, what's the typical fall practice like for uh, Southern Vermont College baseball player? You want me to give away everybody our secret? I mean, <laughs> just something to look forward to. Yeah. You know? uh, our fall practice, again, you know, a lot of our fall practice is evaluating. I think from a coach's standpoint, we do a lot of sing back, but at the same time teaching with being in the Northeast, you know, we can't do butt coverages as, as much as, as we can in the gym. So in the fall, yeah, that's something that we're looking at a little bit more. Uh, it goes a little bit day-by-day -day basis. We play a lot in the fall, which is nice. Uh, it allows us to evaluate our pitchers and our hitters with, with live. Uh, you know, I think you, you had a question about our October 4th game against Connected Community College. That'll be really good for us to, again, evaluate. Uh, but in the fall, it, it really just comes down to meshing our guys, evaluating them, and seeing what we have. Because uh, on the recruiting trail, we know that the players are good, but now we're trying to figure it out. Can they play here at the college level as well? And do you feel that October 4th doubleheader was connected to community college will be beneficial to our team? That's why we play the game. So, so we definitely uh, want to, you know, that day it's not so much about wins and losses. Uh, you know, there's two different philosophies on, on a fall game. You can play to win it, um, which obviously we're going to go in to win. I, I don't think we're ever going to step on the field and, and without the purpose of winning. But at the same time, you know, we're going to give guys chances and positions and see what our best middle infield combination is, see what our best outfield combination is, see what our best pitcher-catcher combination is. So that'll give us, uh, you know, that's the best day. The tough thing about inter-squatting uh, at, at this level is one day as a coach you're really happy with your pitchers and the next day you're really happy with your hitters, but it's tough to walk away from an inter-squad and be like, what, you know, we did really well today because one, one aspect of it you need to fix. So that day, you know, we'll be able to really be able to say, hey, this is this compared to somebody else is uh is great and for you guys you know as players i know that's what you guys look for every day it's fun to beat up on your teammates but it's even more fun to, to try to go and uh, compete against somebody from another school 
I completely agree. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone. Uh, we really appreciate you tuning in to, to this first episode. We're, we'll work out the kinks, and if you guys have any questions, feel free to email them to me. We'd love to answer your questions. And uh, thanks again. Go Mountaineers.